In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the FET app to build circuits and to do simple measurements. First thing you'll do is start up the FET app, search for the circuit construction kit. All you have to do is type in CIR, you'll see the circuit construction kit. Tap on it, bring up the lab version of the kit. Now you have your workspace. We'll make a couple of adjustments here right at the start. I'm going to turn on conventional current flow rather than electrons. I'm also going to turn on all values so we can see what we're putting in. Now to build your circuit, we bring in some elements. I'm going to tap and drag on the battery. I like my voltage sources to be vertical, so I'm going to turn this battery so it's up and down. Notice by default it comes up as a 9-volt battery. I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to adjust the voltage level. You can use the slider or just tap each movement as half a volt. Now I've created a 6-volt battery. You just tap outside. Perfect. Now I'm going to add some resistors. You'll notice we do not want to use the resistors in this first menu because those don't go up to high enough value. I'm going to slide down to the next, next uh, menu. I'm going to bring out the resistors that have the resistor symbols on them. They default to 1,000 ohms. I'm going to turn it, put one resistor in here. I'm going to bring a second resistor in. Again, turn them, get them vertical. Now I'm going to edit the resistor values. Tap on it. I'm going to bring that resistance down to 100 ohms for the first one. Second one, 200 ohms. Again, you can use the slider if you prefer. Beautiful. Now I've got battery and resistors. We need to connect them. Let's get some wires in here. Lots of wires. I'm going to click and drag a wire. The wire, when it touches on one side, you see the connection is grayed out. Use lots of wires. Bring them in. Wherever they connect, we get a nice gray. Bring in more wires. Make it look pretty. Steve Jobs was always after us to make everything look elegant, even if the customer was never going to see it. His philosophy was, if you build something elegant, then you'll understand what you've done. You can go back, look at it a year later, and still be able to understand it. So make your diagrams look pretty. Make them so that you can come back to it later and understand what it is you've built. So here I've connected all the wires. I've got my battery, my resistors. Beautiful. Everything's hooked up. The circuit, the current flow is going the way we expect, going from the positive terminal of the battery down to the negative. If I wish, I can tap on the symbol. I can replace the batteries and resistor pictures with the symbol elements that we use in the schematics. Either of these will work fine. I'm going to stick with these elements. I like to work with it that way. Next thing we're going to do is do some measurements. I'm going to tap on the voltmeter and bring that out. The voltmeter, we've got two probes that come out. The black is for the low voltage. The red is our high voltage. I can place this across the battery. I put the, the black down there, the red up here. See, I'm measuring a full six volts. Great. Let's look at the 100 ohm resistor. Put the red up on there, put the black here. See, on the 100 ohm resistor, I've measured two volts. Voltage drop. I can get the right thing. Let's put the probe here on the 200 ohm. We'll put it on. Now we're going to measure across the 200 ohm resistor. Measuring four volt drop across it. Perfect, beautiful. Next thing we need to do is measure some current. In order to do that, I'm going to tap on the wire. If I tap the wire twice, it will bring up the scissors. I can cut it right at this node, right where the two wires are joined. I've cut the wires. Great. Now we can insert our ammeter. Here's the ammeter. I'm going to drag it in here, bring it down there. And now you can see we are measuring our current. Measuring 0 0.02 amps flowing through the circuit. If you find that your circuit is getting too big to fit on the screen, you can zoom out and then you can add more elements to it. When you're done or if you want to start all over with a, a, a fresh circuit, just click on the uh, reset button in the lower right. It clears the screen and start all over. And there you have it.